What is going on guys, in today's video I'm going to be doing a review of the Cydia Tweak and Telescreen X. Now guys, firstly, if you guys want to get the Cydia Tweak, you guys are going to go ahead and uh, make sure your device is jailbroken because you do need Cydia. You also need a PayPal account or an Amazon account because this is a paid Cydia Tweak. It costs $10. It is on the expensive side, but it is well worth it for your device. So if you guys will go ahead and click the annotation on the screen now, if you're not jailbroken, it will bring you to my video on how to jailbreak. So let's go ahead and get started. Uh, first, you want to go ahead and launch Cydia and go ahead and search IntelliScreen X in the search bar down here below. And once you search IntelliScreen X, it's going to come up saying that you can install the three-day free trial and you can get all these uh, awesome modifications for your device for three days on a free trial uh, after that it's going to ask you that uh, if you want to still have it and you're gonna have to upgrade paying ten dollars as you guys can see it says package officially purchased I've had this purchased for a while and uh, I paid through PayPal it's safe to buy city tweaks guys and uh, let's go ahead and get started in the review so firstly the first thing you're gonna notice once you install on telescreen X and do a simple respring is uh, you're gonna notice the application on your device after you uh, unlock your device you're gonna notice a little city application uh, on your device and it's basically going to bring you to your settings to where you can modify this so you guys can add your mail your notification center your Facebook your Twitter and RSS reader uh, to that to the um, page and you have your options to edit the color of the uh, the color of the title and message so I'm going to go ahead and mess with the color and title just to show you guys for the video so I'm going to go ahead and make this I'm going to make the uh, title red and I'm going to make the message color make the message color white so that way it's like red and white and uh, we'll leave it at five lines and um, yeah so once you have that like that now I kept my Facebook off this uh, or I signed out of my Facebook for personal reasons because it is a personal Facebook and I never use Facebook so uh, let's go ahead and get started um, you guys can see right here is the RSS reader uh, so I type Google News tab and uh, the very first tab is where you have the option to uh, configure a bunch of uh, options from your lock screen so uh, as you guys can see the options are airplane mode, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, data, re, uh, lock rotation, and respring. And you guys also have uh, some Twitter updates there. As you guys can see, my lock screen just locked. And uh, yeah, so <clears throat> here's the Facebook. I deauthorized this. And here is uh, Twitter that I just modified with the red title and the white text. As you guys can see, you guys might like this for a little bit of customization. And you guys could basically, uh, you could tweet from here. You could open up tweets. You can uh, retweet. You can reply. And you can link uh, the tweet. So let's go ahead and open up a tweet. This tweet is from YouTube. And uh, yeah, so let's go ahead and open it up. And you guys can see it brings you to Twitter. And uh, ask me yeah, if I wanted to do that. And uh, I don't know what that says, but yeah, you guys can see it actually opens up Twitter for you. And uh, I have a bunch of options there. Um, you also have, uh, let's go ahead and go back to the lock screen here. And uh, yeah. You also have uh, your, your mail accounts on here if you have any mail account on here. I do have a mail account on here. I don't know why it wasn't loading any mail. But you guys can see uh, mostly YouTube updates and Facebook and whatever the heck else is here and uh, we got this for the mail again and Twitter so I type Google News and it's just a bunch of uh, stuff to get some news here for that's just added on here and you know I think they would I think it would have been pretty cool if they would have made the little toggles for up here as well and um, but they don't and uh, it's only on the first page to have the toggles and I'll go ahead and quickly show you that the toggles do work if I were to click like respring it will uh, respring the device there you go just quickly respring's the uh, iPad and Intellizing Intelli Screen X that's something you're gonna need to get used to over time your device springs or locks or whatever uh, is that so guys I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, Intelli Screen X City of Tweak review and um, if you did go ahead and please hit the like button down there and hit the subscribe button if you aren't already it helps a lot and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video peace out guys